Uh, hello everybody. Uh, today I was going uh, to start something new, something important, and something nice, and something very spicy. You people love it, I think. Uh, I was going to start a project to work with the new people. But remember, this project is for the new people, not for the people who have already knowledge. Test the problem. And here I got a questions about what I have to do, how I have to do, that I should, that should be in my mind. Okay. The packet rice is starting. So, so my main concern is to the very new people who even don't know anything, nothing about CCNA. It's, it's not, it's not bad. It's not. You can do. You can do everything you want. I will try my best to help all you people. Boom. <laughs> you people will think that wow, well, it's too complicated. A lot to think around, stuff around. Don't worry, it's easy. It's not a big deal. We will solve it one by one each and every step and step of told you okay so if if you are new people you, you might think that how these things come how to how to connect this stuff so it's not bad it's not not difficult you people can do it I, I'm gonna start another picket tracer for you okay give you a basic tip how to connect these things and I think by the way you people should have knowledge about switches, routers, and computer as well I mean how to use it in computer so definitely I know you people have knowledge about computer okay when you get a new, uh, I have removed every kind of tool, toolbar here. When you install it, you will get this kind of thing. You will get all the toolbar stuff. You will see everything here. Here you will see routers, and then the model of the router, different models. And here you can see switches. Hubs, wireless device, APIs, firewalls, and cloud. That might be used for the frame relay and OSPF configuration. Okay, I take a start from the router. I take one router from here and mostly I use generic. But don't use generic empty. That router empty will put you in trouble days just left click on the router and then left click here you will get the router then I click on a switch and select one of it and then click here okay then I go to computers computer section is here and I take a computer a laptop anything okay this is the wire section. You will come to the wire. The different devices use the straight through cable. I will use this and left click. All I'm using is left click, okay? Fast Ethernet and then Fast Ethernet 010. Then I will come here again and left click on computer. Fast Ethernet and I hope you guys got an idea what I'm doing but in between different routers for example if I have another router here 29.11 I will use a serial camera with a clocking on it if you don't have an idea the which, uh, what kind of cable you should use you just click on this automatically choose connection type automatically choose the correct connection type 
for example I don't have an idea what I'm going to do click on it and just come here click on it boom they selected they selected the cross to give up you know why because I think there is no serial serial interface at all in this router let me see let me see do you have serial interface in it or not okay we don't have any kind of serial interface here what I'm going I'm going to install I'm going to install serial interface on I if we come to our main topology you will, you will see the serial interfaces the serial interfaces you people might confuse but don't confuse that's damn easy okay and you people are getting a lot of new things to learn in a very short time so what I'm gonna do I'm, I can hear I guess the, on the other switch I do have some first I have to turn it off Here is the button oh that's great then I'm going to look for the serial is it serial? No, is it serial? Yep, it is. Put it here and turn it on. And then I'm going to turn it on. This time I guess I will get the serial interface installed automatically. Might be or might be not. Let's try. Oh, I missed it again and let's try again. I don't know what's wrong with that. Let me let me see which interface don't have a CV. Uh, installed the wrong thing. I think it's not a it's not a serial interface. For example, for example, for example, this router is creating a little bit confusion. I'm going to get another generic router. Okay, mm -hmm. this generic router, and I'm going to use the automatic cable selection. I get the serial interface. This router don't have the don't have the serial interfaces, and I don't have much thing to do with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is the serial. I think I should use this one. But first, I have to turn it off. Let me try. It will give me option to turn it off first. See you people. When the remote power is on, you cannot install module. Okay, let's install the module and turn it on again. And then you people should use automatic stuff here, and you will get a serial interface. Sorry to confuse you people, but that's damn easy. And just listen to things in the very first lecture. That, this, that the in between router we are using serial interface and in between switch in router we are using straight forward cable fast internet connections not gonna use any kind of serial interface and in between switch and PC you are again using fast internet okay I hope that's good for today. We will try to try to do something new. I'm trying to build your basic for the project so you people can understand. If I just jump directly over it and I will tell you configure VLAN 25, go for the ether channel, go for the server room and bang bang, do go for the ISP, go for the another CD routers, <laughs> you will get confused definitely. I'm not going to do that. That's damn easy. Just wait a second, okay? As I'm not a very professional man in such fields, so I have to do these things so damn manually. See you in the next lecture.